Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, March 18th, 2023. And here is your reading of the day. I hope you all had a fun St. Patrick's Day yesterday. Um, We're going to be using the Enchanted Map Oracle deck for the last time this week. We're going to be using the Tarot Cards for Beginners. You guys will have to let me know if you like this deck, if you think that this would be a useful tool for you. And we're going to be pulling a Mindful Message as well. So let's get these cards shuffled and as I do I'm going to ask the angels to protect us. I'm going to ask the spirits of the land and my home to surround us and I'm going to ask the ancestors to give us wisdom. What do we need to know today spirit? Share your wisdom with us please. Try this. This is where it feels good. Bone Collector. Ooh, cool. I was kind of expecting this card to come out this week as well. Bone Collector, and that's card number one. All right. Let me go ahead and shuffle the tarot cards. Can you please clarify that for us, Spirit? Can you please clarify Bone Collector for us? Ooh, this card wanted to jump out. It feels right, so let's grab it. The Knight of Swords. In the medicine position. Ooh, okay, well. This is another, like impatient card and we've been getting a lot of these this week haven't we lots of problems with impatience um this is unfocused impatient um when you kind of act impulsively and it it also can be emotionally distant what does it say on here it says Suggests you or someone in your life is causing conflict and imbalance by shoving an idea down another's throat. Can signal excessive enthusiasm and getting carried away with ideas. Ooh, so it's like the unrealistic dreamer card as well, it sounds like, doesn't it? Well, you know, when I'm looking at this bone collector card... You know, the woman that's depicted on this card is a shaman. Shamans have all different kinds of tools that they use in order to um, dive into the place between places. You know, dive into the spiritual world uh, to to get wisdom and answers. And they're very, very... Um, there's a there's a tremendous amount of introspection and focus and opened armedness to spirit when they when they dive into their you know into their their spiritual practice you know the shaman and the bone collector specifically you know the bone collectors um they kind of take on the essence of of the the bones that they that they hold in their hands to be able to delve into the spiritual world to be able to connect with you know their ancestors or the spirits of that realm to be able to get information they're very very focused but they're also very very joyful Okay, and I mean, shamans aren't dealing with the happy, fuzzy, um, lovely, hug, huggy, huggy type stuff. You know, they they dive in and they see some stuff when they do this. Okay, but every shaman that I've ever met has been such a person of peace, um, such a person of 
wisdom and groundedness and balance, you know? Total opposite of what this Knight of Swords turned upside down is, you know? I feel like we need to spend some time being introspective. I think that we need to really take a hard look on our, at ourselves and ensure that we are not doing anything in our lives, in our interactions with the people that we love, that we're not doing anything to manifest conflict, imbalance, and argument. You know, we got we can't control what anybody else does in this world, but we can control ourselves. Regardless of what's happening around us, regardless of what we see, we still have the ability to control ourselves. So I feel like Spirit's telling me just to tell all you guys, you know, keep yourselves in check. Make sure that what you're saying and doing isn't leading to more damage, to more harm, to more conflict, to more angst, to more anger. Just because you're getting impatient with that person because they're not seeing your, your way of thinking or just because that person is thinking differently and it's making you angry, you don't have to go into that energy. You know, you don't. Be patient, be kind, be compassionate, listen to what they have to say, think about it, and then have your non-reactive answer. And that's advice for me too, because I'll tell you, you know, I'm one of those people where if I hear somebody saying something that I'm just like blatantly against, I can go from zero to pissed off in like a nanosecond. That's something I'm working on. You know, that reactionary getting angry because I feel like my ego is being attacked, you know? Because when somebody like looks at one of your ideas and poo poos it off or just doesn't like it, you know, that can really hurt your ego. That can make you feel terrible, right? But we have to understand that even if that person is wrong, their perspective is still a valuable tool that we can use to better ourselves. And we have to look at it that way. Not as a knockdown criticism, even when they are. Right? Even when they are, we don't have to act, we don't have to act that out. We can just take what we're learning and use it to better ourselves. We can always take those things and, and turn them around. Right? And I feel like that's what Spirit is telling me today with these two cards. You know? Let's pull a mindful message. It is I have no idea what that says. <laughs> Let me read it and maybe it'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, it says, In order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior Re uh, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new shifts. That's what that says. It says mirror. But does that look like mirror to you? Look at this. It looks like a different language. <laughs> or my eyes are just getting that bad. So let me read that again. In order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those new traits. Yes. In order to change my life outside, I need to change my life inside. Yes. Absolutely. Ah. Oh, this was this was a tough reading. This was a tough reading. I think some of this is is specifically for me. You know, it's specifically for me and the whole, the whole impatient theme that's been coming up all week long. I know that that's, that, that that's for me. I'm hoping it's also for some of you and that you were able to like glean something from that. But I know it's about me because I've been, I've been pretty impatient about certain things uh, for the last couple of weeks. So this is spirit giving me up upside the head and saying, Hey, stop that. <laughs> 
<laughs> so anyways, I love you guys. I hope that you all have an amazing day, an amazing weekend. I'll see you all tomorrow for my weekly reading. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.